Good evening once again, ladies and genderqueers, goths, and gamers. I'm Mary Jane Blank, and I just decided to say fuck it. It's early in the morning, and I'm going to play this game. Select mode, chatty Cassie. I'd like to get to know my character. Cassie will talk a fair amount. Recommended. Silent Knight, I prefer my character on the quiet side. Cassie will only speak for plot critical lines. Gotta, gotta. Select mode. Story. Experience the ghost story of Echo Bluff free of significant danger. For narrative enthusiasts and explorers, a mix of story and danger, the original version of the game, dying brings you to the entrance to Echo Bluff with all your progress intact. For people who enjoy a bit of risks, enemies are much more aggressive, dying brings you to the main menu. For those who enjoy a challenge, dying brings you to the main menu? Spooky, scary, select menu. Um, well, since my thing is playing it on the hardest difficulty anyway, let's play it on scary mode. Let's play it in scary mode. Let's see if this mode is scary. I doubt it. Blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. <laughs> right. Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Gloucester, Nah, 11.34 p.m. Hello? Cassie, I'm on my way. Just stay put. Look, considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. Yeah, I'm in the cafe for a few hours. I'll be there soon. <sighs> I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want sleep. I want my life back. And I want to prove I can do this. Fuck yeah. Fuck this fucking place. Hello? I know nobody's there, but... I'm just doing my due diligence. Okay. Hello? Probably should've worked out if someone is, you know, here? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Chapter 1. The rope. Okay. I don't like that. Alright, let me just... Can I please? Oh, you can always turn it on. You can always turn it back on. That's good. Okay, let me just turn these levels a little bit here. All right. Cool, okay. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? A ticket, an apple, and an axe. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's in this room? Oh god, just more of this. Okay. Fuck. The fuck? 
sorry, that's I was like pointing toward the ceiling instead. <sighs> oh shit. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. You have this, Cassie. Do not worry. Wait, what? A note? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete <coughs> our family. Felicia. Okay. Nice. What was that? A memory? Yeah, that was weird. They nailed it. This, this mode is scary. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit scared. I'm not even playing in the dark, which is actually hard, making the game harder, not easier. Yeah. Deep breaths, Jane. Fuck. Where's the... Couch moving puzzle. Whoa, whoa. Wait, fireplace. Okay. Interesting. No, it's the same one. Whoa, this is so fucking. What a game. Another one for me, okay. Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives tale. Okay. Cool. Let's see what's oh god. It's all kinds of shit. Oh, landmarks and memories. Okay. Stairway? Oh god, there's like no ceiling. What was that? Fuck that. I can't move the couches. Ghost. Are we haunted? Your phone? No, it's this. belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. I passed. The music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I 
love this song. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. <sighs> Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. Or brought that back. wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater. Oof, the stones around it were cool it to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. God. Is it just me, or is this, like, really trippy to look at, this stone? It's, like, morphing its shape. Fucking, I like how the windows look like faces. is definitely not alone. What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. Okay, so... <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. Because you're like holding the object, so it's like trying to represent visually what it's like to feel something. That's a tough con conversion. Touch or the haptic senses are really hard to convert to other senses, just in my opinion. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It <laughs> must be very excited. I hope. God damn it. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Okay, good. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little soggy. I don't like it. Why did I choose to play this in scary mode? I can be scared. Okay, oh cool, it's the other side of this. is listening. So that's I liked how it was like making fun of me too. You know? Or I guess making fun of me. I think we were drunk. I know he died. Cool. 
I like that function. Game should definitely do that. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> it did nothing. here. There's like certain things you can like keep. Yeah. Totally. Nope. Okay. A fire extinguisher. Something bad is coming. That's true. I'm playing about that once it gets there, it's gonna fuck with me. Yeah. Oh, 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 I came from upstairs, that's right. Prescribed me for morning sickness. <gasps> I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus. Wait, is that the enemy that I'm seeing over there? Is the golden thing? Oh fuck. Oh no. It's not the monster that is just for the monster. You're imagining things, Cass. Left bumper to run! Left bumper! Okay.
bad room. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 mg Fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Yep, an unethical one. One that possibly means torture her in some capacity. Or just to experiment. Not necessarily torture, but... New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, something is going on here. But once again, something bad. Something this place feels bad. Different. Oh, jeez. It is different. It's totally different. Oh, shit. That... thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Whoa. Something weird's going on. Just drop the frame rate. What the hell? Something weird's happening. Getting some weird slowdown. What the hell is going on? Okay. Okay. What the hell? Can I get Working name needed. No, hold on. <coughs> well, fuck, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. <laughs> 